Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name, of course, is Mr. Infinity, and I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Let's Build Minecraft. And in today's episode, we're building ourselves a lovely gazebo that includes all six colors of wood, as well as some decoration on the inside. And I will see you right now. Alright, so before we even start building our gazebo, uh, two things. Number one, I am terrible with shapes, so I decided to just make a nice layout because our, uh, our gazebo is going to be circular. So I decided to make a nice square circle out of stone, which we are going to build over. Step two, or item number two on our list is uh, this whole thing is going to be... What's what I'm going to look for? Everything is going to be, like, we're going to use all types of wood as much as we can. So, to start off, um, you are going to want to put a 9x9 nine nine cross through the whole thing. So, it looks like that. And then, we are going to fill in the rest with oak wood. And this is acacia wood for the cross and the rest is being filled with oak wood. So just fill that all in. There we are. Working on it. Alright, so it looks like that. I'll give it about two seconds. You can pause it right now just to get an idea of what it looks like. Okay, time's up. <laughs> All right, so what we are going to do next is we are going to go around the entire perimeter and we are going to put stairs. So oak where there's oak, uh, acacia where there's acacia, pretty much. And acacia there. That way we can step up from everywhere, but uh, you won't be... Oh, whoops. This is my one issue with stairs is I'm not great at controlling them. Okay, come on. Come on, there we are, okay, and then Acacia, yeah, this is my, there we, there we are, that's my issue, I'm not looking at it the right way, and, nope, there we, oh, nope, <laughs> come on, nope, third time's not a charm, there, fourth time's a charm, Acacia again, there, there, there. Uh, uh, there we are. There. Come on. There we are. It's going a lot smoother than before. I freaking jinxed myself. And home stretch. There we are. So now we have a little bit of a base plate. So we're not going to have an entrance from all sides. What we are going to do instead... Oh, god dang it. Weather... Slash weather clear. Okay. So, what we're going to do is this will be our entrance here. So, we are going to go around the perimeter with oak fence. And because this is our entrance from this side, oak fence gate. Because we don't want to mix it up too much. Sorry. Okay. So oak fence gate, and then you're just going to build a perimeter like this. So if you want, you can come in at the middle of the night, difficulty hard, just relax, kill some kill some zombies, maybe kill some creepers. You're going to need an arrow, or a bow and arrow, but other than that, you got this, man. And just keep building... Stretch. There we are. Okay, so now we have that. And what we're going to do is we are going to put... Uh, you're going to want to go too high. Two, two blocks high, I should say. In uh, these corners. There we are. So, we have our entrance and stuff. So just give me a couple moments. So we have oak out of the way. We have acacia out of the way. We need birch, spruce, and uh, jungle and dark oak. So maybe our plan might not work out to incorporate all of them. 
Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I'm just going to keep these four colors in our inventory. But what I do have in mind right now is I want to use... Uh, yeah, spruce can mix with dark oak. So I'm going to take dark oak stairs, and I'm going to take uh, spruce slabs. So first off, we will just do uh, this. Just make a nice square out of you. Uh, sorry, out of your um, your fence that goes up. So you're just gonna make a square out of it, and then we're gonna work around this. So this will have more color, more flair to it. Gives it a nice look, and then you are going to because we are gonna stick with our. We're going to stick with our perimeter, not stairs, but uh, like the actual plank and therefore the fence as well. And we're just going to go around and give the whole place some nice... Oh. Oh. Oh, that's going to be low before we uh, fix everything up. Time set zero because working at night time is a pain. Okay. Just get rid of all that. We're going to go up one fence higher because that is just too low and you can't see much and we want you to see everything there we are okay and again do the same thing with spruce wood slabs and then we'll get those oak wood stairs in as soon as we fix this up nice all right so, where were we? We were here. So, you're going to follow the perimeter of the fence, and you will just add in your nice um, little, you know, oak, oak, uh, dark oak stairs. Sorry, I'm having brain issues right now. And then you're just going to go till the fence, or until you hit the next fence post, and then you're going to restart all over. So, it might look a little awkward. Because you have that little corner there. Also, um, you're going to want to keep the middle empty. Because we are going to go through. Like, you're going to want to keep the middle for the for the uh, spruce empty. But you're going to put in the spruce, or the dark oak stairs. And then we may or may not modify this later on. We'll see just how it looks. There we are. And restart next patch. Come on. And then keep our keep on moving. And last one. And come on. Stairs are not my thing, I guess. Jeez. Uh, oh. <laughs> so close. There we are. Okay. Now, for this top part, how are we going to make this look nice? I think I have a bit of an idea. So, what we're going to do is we are going to take ourselves some lovely... Mm, give me ten seconds to think about this. Oh, yeah. We could... Yeah. We're going to take birch... Take the stairs and the half slabs. Oh. Come on. No, no, not there. I want it there. Perfect. Okay. So, we'll just go around. Just set this up. So, where you originally... Oh, oops. Where you originally had no space, you're going to now want to add in birch in the center. So, from there, we're going to put birch stairs... And then, after that, now we're going to need, or we're going to have a little bit of a skylight, but it's not going to be this whole area, um, or should it? No, it should be. So, we'll have some light coming in, but we are going to leave the middle block to uh, something else. So now, after that, what we're going to take, whoops, what we're going to take now is we're going to take jungle wood, go one up, 
So now we have the entire uh, we have the entire area built up. So now we can enter, and now we can add a little more pizzazz to the place. So next step is uh, you're going to want a C lantern, one of our uh, 1.8 blocks that we're going to use. We're also going to take where is it? Here we'll take jungle fence just because this is jungle fence up there, so we might as well. We'll take jungle fence, go two down, two blocks down, and then put a sea lantern. So now we have some lighting in there. Yeah, we have some lighting in there. And if you're thinking from like a modern approach, I guess you have like a it's like a mosquito trap or something. I don't know, but it looks nice. And then now what we're going to take is keeping in with the acacia decor of the floor. Uh, we're going to want some red sandstone. But, so we'll take chiseled. Uh-oh. Our sea lantern is interfering with this whole thing. Maybe we'll just go one block down for that lantern. Because what we are going to put is we shall get rid of everything in our inventory. And we shall put... A nice oxide daisy in... Come on, come on, where are you? I'm blind. Flower pot, there we are. We're going to grab ourselves, place that flower pot, and an oxide daisy. Now, that is just lovely. And we're missing one thing, and that's seeding. So, remember that part about how I said you could also use this for a zombie apocalypse? You can also, or well, not zombie apocalypse, but for like just at night, if you wanna, you know, come and kill some zombies in your nice place. Well, you can also get out of this place too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to all corners, and we also wanna treat these. The, so these are like escape stairs. So say you're over here, zombies be attacking you somehow through that fence. You just wanna escape. Uh oh, I guess you can't escape. You're stuck in here forever. <laughs> so, I want to fit the max amount of people, so we shall take nether brick stairs, treat it like leather, I guess, and just put three in every corner like that. So, are we missing anything? We got lighting. That looks nice. We got ourselves a little flower decor. And we also have, uh, no, oh, one thing I should forget, I almost forgot. Let's add some more uh, pizzazz to the place. Let's give ourselves, or we'll put, well, yeah, we'll use oak fence because as far as I can recall, our uh, pressure plates are only in, where is it? Wooden and stone. So we'll take a wooden pressure plate, yep. And just like in the villager houses, the default NPC villages, one fence up and a pressure plate. So now you can sit with your friends, maybe enjoy some tea, and do slash weather clear just to get rid of that rain because you don't want to be stuck in here. And if zombies do show up at your door, you can't exactly escape from this place. You're kind of stuck in here forever. But... Some of them might burn up in the sunlight, which is good. And we also got all, f uh, is it five? Can't remember. One, two, three, four, five. We got all six colors of wood in this building. So that's really nice. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay awesome.